Hey guys, was geht ab and welcome to this video. Today we want to talk about the most important thing in every single portrait. It is how it is guys. If we meet another person, we always look into the eyes of another person first and then we check out all the other things. Don't matter how attractive he or she is, we always look into the eyes. So that's why the eyes are probably the most important part in every portrait, right? Because we as a viewer always look into the eyes first and if the eyes are like dark or looking over edited or something like that, the portrait can be as good as possible but it sucks. So today I'm going to show you my top three techniques. We start with a very very simple one, then a little bit advanced which I use most of the time and then the last one is a little bit freaky but it's still very easy and very fast. But before we start with these three techniques I would like to give you some key information about the anatomy, I hope I say it right, of the eye. So let's imagine this old Sony speaker is our eye and the light source comes from somewhere here. So we would have a reflection of the light source somewhere here. So probably a softbox, a window, whatever your light source is. Then, because our eyes are like ball, um, we would have the next brightest point on the right side, so on the opposite side of the eye. It's a little bit like a light ray comes from this side, goes through the eye and comes out here. So. We always have to keep in mind that we need to edit the opposite side of the light source the most. For the first technique I'm in Lightroom but you could also obviously do it in Adobe Camera Raw. So we zoom in a little bit and click on the radial filter. Then we create a little oval selection around the iris, something like that and then maybe turn it around a little bit in this case and place it perfectly over the iris and then we need to make some selections here. First of all, we need to invert the mask so that the area in the mask is affected. For your image it could be quite different, so make sure that your settings always fit your image and that it looks natural. So in my case I am going to brighten up the eye a little bit, just to see a little bit more in the eye. And then I also brighten up the highlights and maybe also the whites a lot because we want especially to enhance the bright areas in the eye. And then we can also bring up the contrast a little bit to keep the dark areas a little bit darker and then bring the shadows and the blacks a little bit down. And then we could also bring up the clarity a little bit um, and then maybe bring the shadows a little bit back up to keep it natural. As a last step we could play a little bit with a feather slider. I normally bring it down a little bit because the iris has quite a hard edge so it fits the iris a little bit better but then you need to really make sure that your radial filter really fits the iris because otherwise it's going to look very very unnatural. In this case I would also do another radial filter over the complete dark area of her face. So let's create this one, invert the mask and spin it around a little bit and actually all we need to do here is bring the feather up a lot so that you can't tell that there is a radial filter and then just bring the brightness up a little bit to brighten up her darker areas on the face and now it looks pretty good maybe the eyes a little bit over edited so let's go back in here and bring down the brightness a little bit to keep it nice and natural something like that looks pretty good and now if we compare the before and after really got a natural effect but yeah we really enhance the bright areas of her eyes and that's really what we wanted to do now if you feel like you overdid it in some areas a little bit it's not a problem at all. Just click on the radial filter, choose your filter and then select the brush tool over here. And now you can basically brush where you want to have the effect as well or where you want to delete the effect. Just click on erase here and choose a size that fits your image, something like that is good. And then you could just brush a little bit here or here or wherever you want to to get your perfect result. And by the way guys, if you have an image where both eyes are quite similar, you could just copy the effect to the other eye. So just click on radial filter, click on your filter and do a right click 
and duplicate and then just click on the radial filter and drag it to the another eye. Of course in this case it doesn't work because this eye is a lot a lot darker than the other one so in this case it doesn't work but just in case you have a portrait where the eyes are similar you can totally do that. For the next technique we are jumping right into Photoshop and by the way this technique is the technique I'm using the most of the time because it's super practical you can use it in your normal workflow you don't have to do something else than just your normal workflow and you can just add another layer and do the technique so it's super easy super practical yeah let's get started first of all just zoom a little bit into the image so that you can edit the eyes properly then create a new layer by pressing alt and click on the new layer icon now you can name the layer for example d and b for touching burning because that's what we are going to do and then select the mode soft light and click on this little thing so that the layer is going to be filled up with 50% gray. Alright, press OK and there we are, we have a perfect 50% gray layer. Now you can select the burn tool or the dutch burn, it depends on your workflow. I'm using the burn tool. Then we choose an exposure of maybe 20% and a very small brush. You can adjust the hardness and the size of your brush by pressing Alt and using the right click of your mouse and then dragging left or right. And then maybe something like that looks good. And then zooming in maybe even a little bit more so that you can see all the little details of the eye. All you want to do now is to enhance all the little details. To do that, just press Alt to brighten up the areas um, which are already bright and always keep in mind that you always want to brighten up the area on the opposite side of the highlight the most. So here let's just do it and if you don't press alt you're going to darken areas. I do that now. So it's, it's very very cool because you literally can paint details into the eyes of your model and it's very easy you can control it to 100% just see what I'm doing. And sometimes it's even better if you choose the mode overlay because it keeps the colors a little bit better. Already looks quite good. Now you could also make your brush a little bit bigger and maybe brush a little bit here over the complete area. But always keep in mind, don't overdo it. And in case you did, you can decrease the opacity of the layer later a little bit. All right, so as you can see, I really worked on the details here. Of course you can do that a little bit more detailed but for the tutorial it should be fine like this and now if you zoom out you really see a beautiful eye and of course if it's too much you could just drag the opacity down a little bit. Now, If you're lazy like me you can just duplicate that layer by pressing command J and then select the drag tool and just drag the effect to the another eye but that obviously only works the eyes are quite similar and as you can see in just a couple of seconds basically we created a very very subtle very very natural look in her eyes for the last of the three techniques we're in photoshop again and this technique is a little bit advanced and i'm not using it too often because i am kind of too lazy for it but it's a very cool technique and the result is very very natural so yeah it's definitely worth check it out for this technique you really need to make sure that you have a layer like this where you actually have the original image in it. Then click on this little icon to select the quick selection. Now you can select the brush tool and choose the size that fits your eyes so that you can paint over the eyes properly. For example something like this and then just brush over her eyes and make sure that the complete iris is red, yeah, something like that. And then for the other eye same thing, yeah that looks pretty good. Then click on this little icon again and now you have a perfect selection of the eye. The only problem is that we actually need the selection the other way around. So click on select and then on inverse. Now you only selected the eyes and you can copy them now by using the shortcut command J. Now you could delete the layer with a complete image if you don't need it. And now we only have the eyes separated on a different layer. Now all you need to do is to select the right mode. To do that, click on normal and select either screen or color dutch. In this case, I'm going for color dutch as I don't need to brighten up the eyes that much. And as you can see, in a couple of seconds, we really created a very, very natural, good looking 
eye effect. Now of course you could adjust this effect a little bit more by for example decreasing the opacity of the layer or you could just create a new layer mask. Then you could select the brush tool with a black foreground color and just brush over the areas you don't want to have affected that much. Feel free to play a little bit around with that to get the perfect natural good looking result. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it and if so, please consider to hit that subscribe button to support me and make sure to check out my other videos because there's a lot more to learn and other than that, I will see you next time.